the Maurice Gilloir Grand Nemesis Chase is next in and good looking fill for this one only a small one, 11 of them but there's some good looking sorts in it and let's take a look at the full list and it comes up, two more than five furlongs might give us a bit of an idea for the Golden Miller at Cheltenham the top one is Alexia Squadron for Darren Thompson Bilbo Baggins for Craig Allen was a winner last time Dantan Mann, Jim Murray Snow King, Leon Van Rinsburg is unbeaten in one run who is the more foolish, Joshua Sutherland back at old David Robertson, Mango Sorbo, Ryan Tamasevi Modern Way, Leon Van Rinsburg is also unbeaten in one run Royal Optic, Martin Needham Silent Fortunata for Craig Allen is also a winner but was third first time out and two to lose for Ryan Tamasevi makes up the 11 so pretty good looking field and aerial sweep of oitoi and away we go and snow king pokes its head in front first of all as we get a look from the other side of the track and a short run to the first uh, they're all safely to the other side of it nicely with snow king looks like he's going to settle down in the lead i've seen that many leon van rensburg front runners silent fortunata is on the inside in second two to lose is third and then downtown man Get down to the second. Oh, one is a crushing fall there. Downtown man has gone for Jim Murray. So the highs and lows of starters' orders. 2,000 guineas winning trainer yesterday and on the deck at the second fence in this race today. So down to the third then as they get over that one nicely. It's Snow King in the lead. Siding Fortune after his second. Then about three in a line then. Rango Sorbet, two to lose. And who is the more foolish as they take number four? which they're all safely over and we've got Leon van Rensburg topping and tailing the field at the moment with Snow King showing the way as they race down towards this next ditch which the leader stood off and they didn't all get over that one because back at old has gone so the second fall up and these novices being caught out by these French fences and the leader was nearly caught out then as well run straight through the top of it uh, the jockey did well to stay in the plate the lead is down to a length now uh, two of these are going to have to brush up their jumping that's all we get to Cheltenham but Snow King is the leader then as they come down to this next one that's a nice smaller looking fence and they all got over that one okay although Modern Way was a bit untidy on landing but Snow King's in the lead Royal Optics moving up nicely around the outside who is the more foolish as well then Silent Fortune Arter and two to lose is also in that pack well they're pretty tightly grouped now as you can see there's probably only six lengths first to last and uh, Snow King is in the lead and has now got a two length advantage from Silent Fortunata who's just about second as they take this next one uh, good jump there by two to lose and Mango Sorbet the stage stable companion has dropped towards the back but it's Snow King in the lead still as they come to the ninth and that time two to lose went right through the top of it didn't jump it at all and you can see the field are so tightly grouped one mistake and he just shuffled straight to the back of the pack and Snow King is in the lead Alexius Squadron has crept up there quietly in second what I mentioned before has put itself into a decent position now as they come past the winning post and to skip over the water jump which they're all safely over and Snow King in front from Alexius Squadron in second Bilbo Baggins has moved through into third Royal Optic is fourth in Silent Fortunata and two to lose who is the more foolish as they take the next one which they're all safely over and Mango Sorbet He's now the back marker. With more changes of back marker than we have leader. And Snow King is the only one that's held the number one slot so far. So Snow King in the lead then. Still clear by four. As they get over fence number 12. And once again Mango Sorbo right down on its nose at the back. Not jumping well at all today that one. And Snow King in front. Only by a couple though now as two to lose starts to make a forward move on the outside Silent Fortunata third those two fences very close together and they all got over them okay Royal Optic is now having his turn as the back marker given it's from the least powerful stable will probably stay there it's Snow King in the lead then from two to lose in second and Bilbo Baggins who is the more foolish is next they take the 15th and there was a fall of their Royal Optic gone so he must have Heard me saying he was going to stay last and thought, well, I'm not having that. I'll fall over instead. So that one's out of the race as they get down to the next. And they're all 
Bramble safely over that one, so we've lost three. And Snow King has been in the lead all the way. Two to lose is in second and is chasing. In third place is Alexis Squadron. Then comes Bilbo Baggins in fourth and trying to get in on the inside is Modern Way. Over to third, last they go. And this is the closest they've got to Snow King as two to lose comes up around the outside to try and challenge. But it's Snow King in the lead. Snow King in front still from two to lose in second. Alexis Squadron is third. Then comes Modern Way. Bilbo Baggins is next. Who is the more foolish after that one? And Mango Sorbet is going to have to sprout wings on the outside to take this one then as they come down towards the final two fences and the final two furlongs. This is the second last. And Snow King gets over it well in the lead. He's still in front. He's being chased by two to lose and stable mate Modern Way. They come down towards the final fence then now. And Snow King gets over it but a better jump by two to lose and two to lose bursts into the lead. Snow King is trying to fight back. Two to lose in front. Snow King on the near side. It's two to lose. Snow King is fighting back and he's trying to get the lead back as they race up towards the line. Two to lose. Snow King. It's going to be close. Snow King's beginning to get up. The Snow King's got back up to take it on the line. From two to lose in second. Bilbo Baggage was third. Modern Way fourth. Then Alexia's squadron. Mango Sorbet. The last one to finish. And Snow King would not be denied, would he? And fought back. And fought back. It's on the nod, but I think Snow King's took it. The winning post is virtually camouflaged in that bush. Well, in just about see where the winning line is and Snow King takes it for Leon van Rensburg two to lose for Ryan Tamasebi was second Bilbo Baggins for Craig Allen third Modern Way for Leon van Rensburg was fourth and Alexia Squadron for Darren Thompson was fifth